Hey, this is John at Happy Wife Acres, and I want to talk about a small incubator for home use that might interest you. So this little guy is called the Co-Z incubator. It's supposed to hold 12 eggs. I found it doesn't. It only holds 10 chicken eggs. Sometimes it's easier to put it up on its edge, bring the box up to unload it. So I have not unpackaged this yet, so you're seeing exactly what you would get in the mail. It has styrofoam packaging. Don't throw this away. It's very important in the operation. Don't throw the box away. You'll need it to store it. So we made a video called Cheap Chinese Incubators, Do They Work? The answer is yes, they do. They have limitations. And this would be in that category of a cheap Chinese incubator. It is made in China. Most of them are. We bought this for our Rent-A-Chick Hatch program and found that it's working very well. So I want to share that with you. I want to talk about some pros and cons. So this is what's all in it. You get a manual, of course. The top, the bottom, there's some divider trays, and a power cord. One last thing, the box does come with this. It's supposed to be a water bottle to squirt water in, I guess. Completely worthless. Get rid of it. Just use a measuring cup. This little piece here has this post. There's a pin right here, and it just goes over that pin. This works the rotating tray. I'm just going to push that in. You only have to do that one time. That little pin then goes in this little slot and as this rotates, it makes this tray slide. I'll put some eggs in and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you lay your eggs in. It says three should go across, but there's only enough room to put two. Then you take one of these dividers and you put it in the slot so that the eggs are still loose. Then you put more eggs in and another divider. And you can do that five times, put 10 eggs in here. So when this thing moves, it rolls the eggs. Nice thing about it is, if you've got big eggs, little eggs, duck eggs, quail eggs, it doesn't matter, put these things a little closer, a little further away. Here it is with some quail eggs in there. There are six of these divider slots to make seven uh, individual compartments. I can put four quail eggs across here comfortably. So, yeah, you could put 28 quail eggs. So probably 28 quail eggs, 10 chicken eggs, maybe 8 duck eggs. Then when it comes time for lockdown a few days before they're hatching, you can just lift the whole tray up. The eggs stay. And now you're ready for lockdown. So here are the pros. Number one, it's affordable. On eBay, this is about $55. Two, it does have the rotator included, so you don't have to buy a separate rotator. It's got it in there. Three, this has a built-in candler. Now, you should have the room dark when you do it, so maybe you only candle at night. But you just push a button, the light comes on, and you can see what's going on inside the egg. So you may not have to buy an extra candler. Number four, you can use different size eggs. You don't have to buy separate trays. Just move these little pieces. You can put in duck eggs, chicken eggs, quail eggs. Five, this uses very little energy, only 40 watts. So it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg to run. Six, it feels very well built. It's very sturdy plastic. I don't feel like it's gonna break in my hands. It, it fits well. It doesn't have a cheap feel to it. But what are the cons? Well, there's very few controls up here. Basically, you get a temperature readout. You can adjust the temperature alarm high and low. You can adjust the temperature. That's it. You don't get to know how many days it's been running. You don't get to know what the humidity is inside. So what I recommend is that you get an external hygrometer, something that will give you temperature and humidity. We like this one because it has a very nice large readout. You can read it from across the room. If you were to put this probe in, then you can see it's going to leave a gap right here. So on these units, what I've done is I've taken 
a piece of metal like an ice pick or round wire and heated it with a lighter and then just made a hole so after you burn it in then you can clean it up with a knife so now when you put your cord through it goes up in the channel fits nice and flush so con number two is in addition to the cost of the incubator you're going to need an external hygrometer to really monitor what's going on because you don't want the humidity dropping that leads us to number three so underneath this tray is where the water goes and because it's a small unit it doesn't hold a lot of water so it holds about a cup and it will evaporate out after about three days so you really got to keep an eye on this and add water about every three days so add a half a cup to a cup but if you have an external hygrometer you'll see this number drop 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 and it'll go from between 60 and 70 you know, through the 50s 40s 30s get that low add more water number four it only holds 10 eggs it's advertised as a 12 egg incubator yeah you're gonna have to have small chicken eggs to do that if you're just trying to hatch a few duck eggs or maybe you're just trying to, to hatch a few special eggs that a hen laid for you uh, this is great it's not gonna set you back hundreds of dollars I wouldn't really call it something negative but when you run it you keep the styrofoam on it it helps hold the heat in again it's only 40 watts so you want to keep this away from drafts you want to keep it away from the bright sun coming in from the window and you want to keep it out of a cold room or an overly hot room all the cutouts are here so you can you can still see the controls with the styrofoam on you can still plug it in and it gives you little windows that you can look it is tinted plastic hard to see but yeah you can peek down in there I really like this thing I liked it so much I want to make a video I wasn't asked to make a video I just wanted to share this with you and say I mean, if you're looking for a small one this is a good one don't be afraid that just because you got it off of eBay it's, it's a bunch of junk first time we used it was last fall we put eight eggs in it three were not fertile but the other five all hatched it's a good little incubator I think it'll it'll do you well I'll leave a link in the comments where you can get it on eBay but you're just looking for the cozy incubator all right thanks for watching if you're new please hit that subscribe and the bell button so you'll be notified of new videos and we will see you incubating soon on the homestead all right, bye